Chris Brown opens up to Ryan Seacrest about his recent public blow-ups, new music with a big pop star, and his reconciliation with Rihanna. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti and HollywoodLife.com has all the details. On Tuesday, Chris Brown visited Ryan Seacrest's radio show for the first time ever to talk about all the ups and downs of his past year. Things started off light as they talked about his new music, which included a collaboration with Jennifer Lopez. As of now, I'm just in the studio writing for hers and, you know, collaborating on some new stuff and trying to give her just some party some party music and some fun stuff. She's cool. And by the way, I mean, there's no harder worker than Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, she, like, she dances she, better than me. Brown also confessed to being a fan of Taylor Swift's song, Trouble. Now I'm lying on the cold heart. It's Taylor Swift on New You Were Trouble. Chris Brown is here. He's I love got that uh, song. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you cover it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would. I would love yeah. to cover it. Of course, the interview touched on his recent reconciliation with girlfriend Rihanna, whose trust he had to earn back following the assault in 2009. You know, I just tried my best to be the best man I could be, you know, over the years, and you know, just show how remorseful and sorry I was for the for the incident. And that and that time was probably the worst part of my life. So, you know. Being that she has and she's a wonderful person, you know, I'm, I'm eternally grateful and thankful. With all the negativity surrounding them getting back together, Chris reveals how their relationship works now. Oh, you know, it's still like we kids, man. I, I don't, I, I, I try not to be too grown and too, you know, yeah, let's have, you know, <laughs> candlelight dinner every night, you know, but it's just, you know, I just try to make sure everything is fun, you know, it has to be fun and it has to be, you know, genuine. So, does he hear wedding bells in the future? It's in a part of my brain, you yeah. know, definitely. I think right now I have a lot more, you know, people to take care of right now as far as my family, as far as, you know, a lot of aspiring artists that I'm working with, everything that I'm doing. Now, following some recent negative headlines, including a verbal altercation with a valet at a charity event, Seacrest took the time to have a real heart-to-heart -heart with the singer who turns 25 next month. But that's part of it. You got to look back and say, no matter what happens, I got to just shut up. I can't do that. <laughs> exactly. I'm just going. It's to, true because I'm that's the only security. Go, 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 go get the keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be by the car. You know, because you know, <laughs> just, just when you get yourself on a track, you don't want to become your own worst enemy. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Now, guys, check this out. Subscribe to ENTV below to get all your Hollywood relationship updates. You also want to click right here for Rihanna's defense of Chris Brown following their reunion. A lot of cool stuff. I'm Brian Corsetti. To stay up to date on everything Hollywood, check out HollywoodLife.com. And stay tuned to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.